this is the Edison Motors High School Go-Kart Challenge. So what we did is we ordered about 30 go-kart kits with axles, brakes, batteries. We gave them to local high schools and basically gave them the challenge over four or five months. They had to design, build, weld, fabricate up their own go-kart. Then they came out today to the Merritt Rodeo Grounds where they're competing in a series of challenges. We've got a sled pull, we've got an off-road challenge, we got some barrel racing, and we've got a high-speed cart. So I guess we can probably get started here soon. There's four events, obviously barrel racing right here, the high speed track course over there, and then you have the two courses over there, a little bit of ground rules, everyone needs a helmet while they're racing. Uh, also against the rules, nobody's allowed to get hurt. That's strictly against the rules, disqualification, I guess. <laughs> if you have to call an ambulance, that's bad. Dan here is gonna be helping out with mechanics. We also have Eric in the background. If you break something, let us know. We've also got a welder out here to fix anything that breaks. And that's it. It is basically a free for all. So go to your carts, show up to an event and enjoy your racing. Okay, you guys see Mike before in a couple of videos. Mike was our welder fabricator. This idea for the high school challenge was actually Mike. So he approached me with a cool idea he had back in the day. I guess I was doing, when I was in high school, dating myself a little bit, but 97, we did the electric challenge with PC Hydro. They did a similar swap turn event. Um, it only lasted one year. It's really too bad. And I'm glad that Chase was able to pick up the idea and we were going to create an event like this. And, uh, and it's just amazing to see. I've helped out a couple of the kids take their carts, fix it up a little bit while they. It's been amazing to watch the kids work together to help each other, to you know, try to problem solve, to learn how things worked, what worked best, what didn't work, what they're going to try next year. They're all excited. And the best part is there's no arguing, there's no fighting, there's no nothing. It's not like any other event I've ever been to. So it's been a fantastic event. Even though this is a competition, everybody is trying to get everybody else across the finish line. Like there's nobody that doesn't want anybody else to win. And they're almost rooting each other on. Like we're seeing competition where it's coming down to the second and you got three teams competing and they're all cheering for one another. And it's cool to see. It, it's amazing to see them work together and to help each other. And yeah, you just, you, you don't get that in any other event. Like they're giving out tip, tricks and tips and well, come into that corner and bank up on the wall. And then I came down here and that's how I was able to shave two seconds all up. And like, it's cool. That's all it's something. I'm really, really proud of these guys here. Really proud of the students and I think this is an event we got to do again. 100%. I'm Phoenix Huff. I'm a student here at MSS, grade 11, and I helped build the go-kart. Yeah, I'm Ryan Smith, shop teacher at MSS. This is our team that we put together. So all of our merit secondary students, we had so much fun. We didn't know what we were expecting. Uh, we got the kits and then we just put our brains together. Some of the students had some brain farts in the middle of the night. Yeah, definitely like going into it blind to bond that these students built with each other you know, and even the, the staff and teachers at MSS. It was, uh, it was incredible. So yeah, we were fortunate with our sponsors. We ended up with two kits donated to us. So we built them separately. Exceed Electrical out of Kamloops was one. Miltech uh, Industrial out of Salmon Arm was another one. And then Alpha Design and Merit stepped up and actually gave us the, the material to build the carts as well. So that part, uh, you know, the designs, the building, everything was all the students. It was all their skills. So for the front, I believe the front shocks are out of a snowmobile, right? And the uh, rear shocks out of a dirt bike. And yeah, uh, it was actually old shop projects that like never got finished, right? So we just like took the parts off of the off of whatever was sitting out and made made do with what we had. So I feel like this cart's gonna do really good in the sled pull, has like really good weight distribution and good suspension for the sled pulling. I feel like this one will do really good on the speed track because it's got some pretty good steering to it and it flies pretty well. 
Yeah, the handling on this one's exceptional. It, it carves really hard in the corners. Uh, that off-road course, it looks like it's designed to beat the crap out of these cars really hard. And I think uh, with the suspension travel in this one, it's gonna suck it up real well. I think we all kind of lost sleep dreaming about these, waiting to waiting to see what was gonna happen. Cause uh, you know, not knowing what we're up against, we tried to build them as versatile as we can. And uh, we're really excited for this challenge. Penticton Secondary. Uh, my name is Devin Burroughs. James Devlin. So that's our electric go-kart that we built in the last couple months. Um, it's completely made out of salvaged material. Uh, most of the tubing came from uh, crates that side-by-sides chip in. Uh, came from a local dealership. All the plate steel came from a fireplace manufacturer. The front suspension is off of a offshore quad. I think it's gonna be an exciting day. Uh, Lots of great learning experiences here. Um, takes us outside of just building regular metalwork projects. Lots of engineering going on, innovation. Among the group, I think there was a lot more engagement compared to our conventional projects. Uh, the kids definitely interacted, had lots of input. Um, everyone worked well together. I think there's lots of camaraderie and friendships made where it would not necessarily have gone down like that normally. Lots of the stuff was built in AutoCAD beforehand. Uh, anything that was cut on the plasma cutter was drawn up um, and then cut out. There was lots of stuff that was manufactured once, discarded, built again. Uh, we started with a basic ladder frame and then just built off of it. We embedded lots of Easter eggs for Edison Motors uh, uh, along with our other sponsors. So we actually, we have the Edison E Relish Transportation, they actually uh, donated the kit for us, so we included their R here. Uh, if you go down around our battery box, we actually have Topsy supporting our battery in place. We've got a we've got the Tesla logo on our bash guard because Edison says that they don't like Tesla. So if you look <laughs> underneath, yeah, the skate plate has a Tesla, Tesla logo, just so we can bash Tesla a little bit. <laughs> You know, we're just excited to be here. Our goal was to have the prettiest cart. So far, we have the greenest cart. <laughs> I'm hoping that we do well in the the straight race, as well as the tractor pull. <laughs> I feel like anything with sharp corners, our steering isn't great. <laughs> I'm Chad Hipwell from Sardis Secondary School. I'm Ryan Goodman from Sardis Secondary, and we got uh, Darren Jones from Sardis Secondary as well. Our design was uh, evolved heavily from the very beginning. It started simple and escalated quickly um, and turned into this with last minute changes along the way, uh, repairs here and there, but it was very much a full team effort from our engineering drafting department, our metal machine shop, our automotive department, students from a variety of different programs um, doing lots of work to little you know wrenching here and there um, but there's lots of student involvement in every aspect for sure making sure that uh, kids were motivated actually I, I don't think we really had much trouble with motivation we had kids that uh, you know were happy to stay till five six o'clock at night uh, you know Friday nights after school and dedicated group of kids over there big round of applause for you folks good job everybody really led by the students I don't think a project of this caliber could have been put together just by the teachers alone uh, if the kids weren't going to buy in I don't think it would have been a very good result at all and thanks to Edison Motors for putting on the event uh, you know there's there's not many opportunities uh, locally and provincially and even nationally and internationally for the of those folks down in the states to you know bring young people into a, a real world uh, design build uh, apply um, so thank you for uh, for Edison Motors uh, we're gonna do really good on uh, courses with uh, nice wide corners that <laughs> yeah, is our turning specialty radius is maybe not the our best specialty <laughs> is wide corners uh, but you know the off-road we did some uh, test work uh, on some of the gravel piles 
uh, around our school. The articulation on this little unit uh, is actually pretty stunning. Wide tires, we have, uh, we, have we, we uh, really made some enemies in the athletics department, uh, testing in their set, in the long jump pits and around their racetrack. And uh, so it's, it's quick, it's nimble, it's not really good for hide and seek. So the four link triangulated suspension system allows it to articulate quite heavily. Uh, which will give us definitely a, a run up, I think, in the off-road challenge. Uh, and the larger tires will also give us a bit of a, an advantage over some Jump larger on there, obstacles. Um, the loose suspension allows it to, yeah, just move around a lot and give it a nice sweet ride for the driver. Super happy with the way that the four-link suspension design uh, allows it to do that. I think one of the other Track things we can highlight that, too so. that uh, sets us apart is the aluminum uh, the all, the, all the all the aluminum chassis, the the frame rails you can see under there, and the uh, uh, just the way everything was kind of tied together in aluminum. We had a few students that turned out to be pretty decent aluminum welders, and uh, that was pivotal and key <laughs> in our build that we were able to develop some aluminum welders, TIG welding, uh, aluminum uh, wire feed welding, and uh, yeah, the 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 full gamut. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, a huge thank you to Tycrop trailers uh, out in Chilliwack. Yep, they right back donated in. and CNC cut all of our major pieces here for our chassis. So big shout out to Tycrop Trailers for sure. Start of secondary schools, Edison electric off-road machine. Okay, where are we from guys? We're from Whitecourt, Alberta, from Hilltop High School, and this is our EV cart. And uh, yeah, exactly where that, we're the Whitecourt team, we're EV chargers, what we named it. Kids all built it. Tell them a little bit about, some about the cart, guys. So we wanted to spread out the weight and not have it all in one spot. The battery is in the front as the back of the cart is quite heavy with the motor. That was one of the design elements that we wanted to keep it uh, as weight distributed as possible. So we thought we'd go heavy, not so heavy driver, heavy in the back. That was kind yeah. of the idea, yeah. It was definitely fun. We all have played our parts in making this mess. I think it's gonna do well in tractor pull and barrel race as well. Really? I think I mean, it'll be better in the, I feel like the, uh, speed the slaloms. Might, the speed I, might be good for us, but you never know. It's a design for speed and efficiency. And sketchiness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think the project's great. It, it lets students really be creative and, and, and work with the tools and put form into function for them. Um, you know, it, it, everyone's got a different idea of where it goes and lots of trial and error, lots of mistakes. I know in, in my class I always say um, I like mistakes and mistakes always happen, that's how we learn. So a lot of this was, you know, put it together, try and go, oh, that didn't work at all. Put it back together, well, that worked better. So it's neat to see the students develop, you know, I guess, what would you say, um, problem solving skills past just the lesson plans and that's that's what we're looking for. As a student of Hilltop, I have created many things in that shop. And this is probably one of the coolest things we've ever gotten to do as a small school in a small town. Amazing coming to BC and having something cool like this. Really appreciate it. I'm getting yeah. emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Valley View Secondary's race team. We've got Jack, we've got Chris, and our VP showed up today to support us. Uh, we've done most of this build in the last three and a half weeks, and so we've got full suspension front, back, and two great drivers with us today. We're really excited to be here and super grateful for the opportunity. Um, we couldn't have done this without Edison Motors putting this together, and we had three sponsors for this one. We had KJW Engineering Limited out at Kamloops, Var Steel and Fast Cut CNC. This has been such an exciting thing for us to be part of. These guys have been amazing fabricators for our last few weeks. We had a lot of other students help too, but these guys were the main one. Jack, what was your favorite part about building this? Uh, well, beside testing it uh, last week, um, you know, just getting down to the wire where we put the LED lights on and getting the steering working, the suspension. Uh, yeah, just those things, making it come to 100% finish was, it was really special. Yeah, pivot in the middle was cool, and uh, yeah, the whole thing was just amazing. It was a great experience. I don't think I've seen these guys work so hard in the, 
as they have in this last semester. I've been teaching each of them for what, three years now? Yeah. Well, three years, years each. Four years. And yeah. I've seen a huge change, not just in their skills, but their attitude. And I can't wait to see what they go out with after high school with these different experiences. So we've only had about one week of testing on this thing. The kids have been practicing. We set up garbage cans in the tennis court. Sorry about that. Uh, to, to practice barrel racing and seeing how tight can we get our corners. Max speed. I'm not sure how we are compared to the other ones. I'm not saying our max speed yet because I, I don't know what yeah, we else yeah. we've got. But we've done some testing on our drag race. It's fine for going off road as long as we don't overdo things. We've seen a couple little electrical things that we wish we could overcome. But overall, this thing rips. Yeah. So yeah, we have our suspension coming up on a little bit of a lip, a little bit of uh, angle here. We've got sponsors, sponsors here. Talk Mine, about, yeah. my name, Chris Holbrook's name. And uh, yeah, when you sit down on it, it just so goes right down. About a week ago, we only had the two shocks on the outside, and we were bottoming out those things too easily. Yeah. So we we're trying to figure out, well, how can we tighten these up? What can we do? Well, we just added a third one. And I think things have been peachy since. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a couple weird noises when you drive, but that's just like my car too. So I think that's okay. So Valley View Secondary, we, our mascot is the Vikings. So why not just be the electric Vikings for this one? E, V, we were trying to, I be don't know. We, here. we thought it was hilarious. Yeah. I don't know about you, but it's pretty sweet. So we had uh, we had a little bit of trial and error. The uh, brakes not really being so great at the start, but once we started to wear them in a little bit, it started to you know stop on a dime. Made this brake pedal off the CNC machine. It's kind of clever. The front looks kind of boring, and this makes it look exciting. That being said, this is really the most re important reason we have a seatbelt is because of uh, those things. But again, last minute additions. It's on there pretty strong. We think it really leaves a bit of a statement. And the colors look pretty sweet too. It just so happens that our school colors are black and red. So this worked out with the seat that was supplied by Edison Motors. Our big plan in the future with this is every year add to it. Whether we're competing in another competition or not, the student engagement has been huge. Seeing kids get excited, seeing this thing grow in the last month. I have plans for, can we put a bigger motor? Can we change the suspension? Can we redo the spindles and some of the steering with proper Ackerman angles, caster, camber? all that stuff so that this thing will drive nice for anybody. That being said, my eight-year-old did drive it the other night. She's not the strongest and she was ripping around the field. We're uh, Mark and Finn. And yeah, that's who we are. Yeah, we're the um, WCCHS Cobras yep. from Claire's Home, Alberta. Alberta. It was fantastic. Uh, I I feel like the rather short deadline that we had aided in getting these guys uh, really going hard on it. We had a group that was super excited. We were working through shop class and then they were coming in after school and working pretty much every day of the week. I'd have a, at least a couple of kids in there. I think it's going to be incredible for our shop program, yeah. um, giving this goal and competition something that we can build and be proud of and compete and uh, beat all the other schools. You know, it was quite the challenge to build. It took quite a long. I really wish we had some more time because there's a lot of things I wish I could grind down some welds or clean up the spatter or that kind of stuff. But no, it was really fun. Learn, learn lots. Um, a couple cool things about our cart. Um, instead of the standard battery you gave us, we subbed in eight Milwaukee Joe batteries. Um, this thing's part Kawasaki mule, the steerings from a side by side and then the rear diff as well. Yeah, we got a five point purple harness, you know, plus style points. So instead of having, you know, power directly off the motor, we have chain and a sprocket to be able to change our gear ratio. So instead of having, you know, just straight speed, we can make it nice and torquey or, yeah. We wanted that independent suspension on it as well, right? So having those solid axles coming out of the motor just wasn't working for us. Um, one thing that we'd wanted to do is have a locking differential in it, but the scrap projects that we found didn't have any. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that was part of the, the vision behind separating the motor from the wheels. Yeah, because our throttle pedal wasn't broken, uh, we just packed it all up, drove out here, 
um, came out. You, you guys had one. We put it all together this morning, got it working. We drove it, yeah, it ripped, it was good. We were really fortunate to get a couple people on board. Davis GMC and Starling Auctions uh, were able to help us out with that, with the travel essentially. Getting out here was quite expensive for us. And then the embroidery shop as well out of Claire's home um, hooked us up with some t-shirts um, that are almost embroidered. <laughs> almost embroidered, <laughs> almost, almost finished, designed. But, yeah. um, heat press broke, so we're still waiting on those. But um, exciting things. Batteries. Alberta Firearms lent yeah. us some of the batteries to help our project as well. Not too sure. I know you know our suspension, we got quite a bit of travel, so I think we'll do pretty all right in the off-road. We have an upper hand um, on, the, on the tractor pull. We're able to change our gearing to get it nice and torquey to hopefully yeah, have an upper hand in that. So one of the sponsors that we didn't get on the board yet, we're going to add that on here. Uh, Happiness by the Acre, they actually sponsored the kit for us. Without them, we wouldn't have even got going. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So behind me here, we have the off-road challenge. It starts on the hill. They go down the hill, through the bushes, they roll down around the backside, which has a bunch of moguls, slaloms. They hit the first jump, drop across the field, roll around the cone. They come back, they launch over the second bump into some more moguls. They hit the log jump, they're into a rocky field. They come rolling down this straight stretch around the corner, and they got to climb up the hill. Right on this hill, so what we've been happening on this one is that this one has been carnage, and I see why a lot of people left it to the end. But we got people, they're breaking their suspension, they're blowing out their parts, they've been breaking welds. This is the true torture test because you launch off a hill, you come down hard on the suspension, you're hitting multiple jumps, you're rattling everything loose. So guys have been doing this run, doing a few runs, going back to the pit, coming back. The, the, that welder has been going constantly all day and we're getting to the point where people are being able to consistently run this again and again and again and they're strapping their wiring. This has been an amazing torture test and by far the most fun out of all the events. Behind me on this hill climb, we're finding that if you come or you've got to come around this corner at full tilt and you got to run the hill and power through it. And if you got too heavy of a car, you spin out and then we're making this a community event. Their entire team is allowed to push them up the hill. If somebody gets high centered on a log, the entire team's allowed to shove them. It counts for the time. This is basically whatever you can do to get your vehicle across these obstacles, back up the hill, across the line. Kind of cool to see. Okay, this is the innovation I love to see. We said that there's no rules. All you got to do is use our electric axle. Somebody made a hybrid. There is a Honda generator powering that cart. I think that's freaking sweet that somebody else came out with a hybrid. Plus, there has been a few wrecks on this course too. Mainly me. I've wrecked a few times on this course. Come on. Come on, wheel. You just got to make it. Last one, wheel. Come on, wheel. Come on. Come on, wheel. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn it tally of every single event because we had four events and then we're just making sure that we place you know who got first and second and third and fourth and then from there the average will come out and uh, so far one school is looking on top but I won't say well I'm the vehicle designer at Edison Motors you might have seen the two-seater cab that's my baby <laughs> so if you see our renders and you're like who does those renders those are amazing that's the guy I'm not that excited. Trust me. You're the better dad. No, no, come on, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel says he's the better dad. Awesome. This has been an absolutely fantastic day. So we just hit four hours. We let them run for a full four hours, as many laps as they wanted. We tallied all these laps, and these guys are just doing the final score tally right now, but it's been fantastic. It'll be close. And yeah, what a great event. I mean, it all came together so well, and yeah, just so pleased. So many smiling faces here today. We're doing it next year? Oh, we sure are. It'll be even nice. better. More powerful motors, and uh, hopefully more teams. <laughs> I love how that's a unanimous <laughs> consensus. It's like, hey, 50 kilometers an hour was okay, but like, can we get up yeah, to yeah, 70, yeah. 80? Yeah, we didn't yeah. have nearly <laughs> enough bloodshed at this event. There was only like one bloody injury, and I feel like we can increase that next year. <laughs> for teachers listening for future years, this is a joke. <laughs> 
For the insurance company listening, that is a joke. <laughs> now it'll be tame. Okay, so what the students had was four hours to do as many attempts and runs as they possibly could get in under that time. So they had time to do a run, come back, fix their machine, do a little welding, a little cable management. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the best run out of every single attempt. So we take the best one, they're just gonna add up that best score and we're gonna put it in from first place all the way to 18th place. And PGA golf rules, lowest score wins. So if you're in 15th place, you get 15 points. First place, you get first one point. You add up the total points for all four events and that'll give you a total overall average score. So it's the best overall team. We thought that was the fairest way to do it, and yeah. Well, you know, the coolest part about this event too is that we had multiple events, so multiple drivers. Every school was able to put a different driver in the seat, and that's what's so cool about this, right? It wasn't just one person, it was the entire team working together. Yeah. And uh, if they broke their car, they were still all able to work as a team and fix it. And uh, I think only like one, one vehicle. One, only broke. one vehicle like, just... broke. And that was on the last 10 minutes. The last 10 minutes, the one vehicle, their steering linkage finally gave out. It broke, yeah. the axle fell down. I, uh, I lost that bet. I think last night I thought like 12 teams. Were I know, I thought like break. five teams were gonna have breaking, <laughs> yeah. but I was really impressed with the engineering, the design, yep. incredibly well built things and just a relaxed, fun environment. I think the secret yeah. was letting everyone do as many attempts as they wanted because everyone then had a chance to try and run in every single event. Yep. As you see, teams got like five, six runs in. So everyone on their team was able to do every event and we just take the highest score off that team. It was a very fair, fun way to do it and definitely gonna take that again next year. Yeah, so we have 19 teams being tallied up right now and I think there's had to have been at least like 170, 200 people here oh, today. At least 200 it was, people. Here. It yeah. was a huge turnout. I yeah, can't the concession believe it. was just so thrilled today. Oh yeah, I thought about it. Yeah, I didn't think about that. They must have done pretty good. Okay, sure. A nice haul for everybody. Every time I came out here, the burger line was all the way back here. I wanted a burger all day, but the line was so bad. <laughs> oh no, it was great. It yeah. So here is the scorecard. This is the barrel race. You can see in here, we had all the school numbers all done up and they had multiple attempts to do it. So some schools did one attempt, some did four, five, and we just ended the best score on there. That's what they're tallying up, putting it in their spreadsheet. And we'll get out there and we'll go hand out some prizes. Mainly the cash, cash is the prize. You can't get a better prize than cash. Nope. And some merch. Big shout out to Rich for helping Richard. Uh, big shout out to Richard here for helping us set this out with all of the massive amount of stress we caused him. I think we took five, 10 years off his life. You're shouting at me again? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Richard Molnar. I'm with Edison Motors and I helped organize the uh, EV radio. I uh, was involved in the planning and, and uh, in the execution of some of the stuff. After we arrived and we knew what we were doing because the thing was we were still figuring it out even as we arrived because uh, it was a challenge uh, getting it done in the time we had. So once I knew where everything was going to be, where everybody was going to be, that we had the right resources, then I went, it's just execution now, it's going to work. Everybody was having so much fun. The uh, kids had fun, the facilitators had fun, we had fun. I absolutely uh, would love to do this again. And it can't help but be bigger and better. I, I just can't imagine it being uh, anything other than that. All right, sorry about that. It was bad and we suck at that. Okay, so what we did is we tallied up the scores from each event. Basically, first place got one point, second got two points, third place got three points. Put them all together. It's like golf scores, so lowest points won. But, First, uh, first place. Wait, third place. Third third, place? Yeah, yeah what? Third, first. You're right, you're right, yeah. First time, we'll do better next year, and we are definitely gonna have this next year. We've all confirmed that. <laughs> all right, third place. Team number nine, Merritt Secondary. We're, we're getting belt buckles made up and we'll get some, get some belt buckles sent off. But uh, third place is a $500 scholarship, so that's cash. Start it out however you guys want to use it. Cash is the best prize. All right, second place. 
Team number 16, Sequel. Congratulations to everybody. It looks like you guys had no fun at all. <laughs> Some of you guys were doing, and gals were doing wheelies. Some I don't think were on purpose. Some took that log over there and created a whole new event. So <laughs> congratulations on that. Uh, on behalf of myself and my company, I'm located out of Armstrong. I've supported this young man for quite a while. My little man here wants to do what you guys just did today. So what we did in conjunction with Chase here, we picked five teams uh, based on a couple different things. Uh, look, design, safety, performance, team spirit, which is massive. And then also sponsor support because we know every one of these was sponsored by somebody. So my little man wants to hand out 500 bucks to a few teams. So the first one that was chosen, the first team that was chosen, team number five, sponsored by Penn High. Team five. The second one that was chosen was Sardis, sponsored by Tyson. There's no particular order here, by the way. Uh, team number three that we chose overall uh, was a one-man team. Yeah. Number six, Summerland. <laughs> one man. And then the next team, number four is from, I think it's from Lynn, David Stoddard. Team 18. Team 18. A three person crew. And then the last one we uh, all decided on was Team 12. Press a pull. All the way from Fort St. John. Fort St. John. sorted on that one but honestly this event turned out so good everyone seemed like they had a lot of fun that was the main thing and can't wait to do it again next year so right now though we are having our final event and is all the faculty or adults or whoever one person per car we're gonna line up there at that gate two wide we're gonna go out this way we're gonna be doing 10 laps of the track so Get, and let somebody designate one person from your team to keep track of what lap, how many people have done. First person to get done, someone put their hand in the air and say, that was 10, because we won't get track. It's going to be pure courage. Let's all go watch this.
right, we're here with Sardis, the first place winners. Um, that wraps up the competition. I think it went really well. I don't think it went really well for us. We definitely didn't think that we were uh, gonna win the day. You know, we were kind of hanging in there. There was a lot of really good carts out there and uh, we were surprised to get the uh, get the win on the day. Uh, and the, the cart behind you, we saw it this morning, uh, held together really well. The, the boys off to our right here, they uh, did a nice job of putting things together and uh, yeah, good teamwork all around. Um, yeah, we, well built guys. Absolutely well, Bill. Thank you. <laughs> you guys should definitely be proud of what you just made. How did you do second place on the teacher's race, too? Oh, I think... Yeah. Uh, well, we started 10, so we're taking it as a win. Yeah, we didn't have, no, pole, we we didn't, we didn't have pole position, so uh, <laughs> we uh, we had to climb through the pack a little bit to get that second place. So definitely a big win. Uh, even even though it was second, we'll take the, we'll take it the win. It was nice. Right. Yeah, thanks very much for putting it on, Chase. Uh, yeah, appreciate all the, uh, all the Thank effort you. you guys put yes. into it. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. Thank well, loading up the truck here with tires. We're wrapping up. What a great day and amazing too. I mean, geez, the cleanup job. I'm super impressed with everybody and uh, what a great event. Everyone was a winner and uh, I just can't believe it. all the support that we got to make this happen. So thank you. And uh, I think with, uh, with the success we had today, we'll definitely be able to make a bigger event next year. Uh, so looking forward to already talking with all the students and kids again and um, yeah, making this event even better next year. Yeah, this should definitely be an annual thing. Going forward, let's make the Edison Challenge a regular thing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our Edison Motors video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit the notification bell for more updates and follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram.